Embry-Riddle students are getting a fast track to the control tower thanks to a groundbreaking FAA program. For the first time ever, the students will be able to take to the towers right after their graduation. News 6's Molly Reed shows us how the university's new high-tech labs are making it possible and how it will help during a national shortage of air traffic controllers. This is one of Embry-Riddle's ATC labs where the students are getting the hands-on experience for them to bypass the FAA Academy, several requirements, and head right into the workforce. Southwest 923 Academy Ground, runway 28 taxi via Charlie Indy Alpha. Kyra Hansen will be one of the first four graduates from Embry-Riddle's Enhanced Air Traffic Collegiate Training. That's where I find the fun in it, and that's where the challenge is, and I think that's what appeals to a lot of people is the creative problem solving and the, um, then it's never going to be the same. Before this, graduates would have to wait years to be hired. Ground runway to a right taxi via Charlie Indy Alpha. Now? They can be immediately hired into the FAA. Bypassing the three to four months at the FAA Academy, completely eliminating that one to two year bureaucratic backlog. With the national air traffic controller shortage, this could help fill positions faster with graduates ready to take to the tower. If the FAA continues this current trajectory, when you factor in retirement and other attrition, we'll have a net increase of around 200 controllers between now and 2032. And filling the gaps means more eyes on the runways, meaning more flights that can be added or less ground stops for you. And so when I see that they're getting close to the end of the runway, then I'll transfer the strip to local. Of course, there are other perks to the job too. Median salary for an air traffic controller in the United States is over $150,000 a year. Great career to be in. Now that they have the program up and running, they expect to have 60 to 100 graduates from this program per year going forward. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed, News 6.